Yes, mm. you remove the tumour, you're not removing the cancer. Yeah. The, the, the cancer diathesis, the, the reason that the cancer was there in the first place is still there. What you've taken away is a marker um, and sometimes it's that or you lose the animal and I'm not prepared to say that for the sake of homeopathy that I would rather lose the animal. The animal lives if I can help the animal to live with a really good quality of life. So removing a tumour I will do it if it's that or it's nothing. Um, but you know, afterwards you've lost that expression of the body, you run the risk that it could go deeper so you have to be on the lookout for that and you have very quickly to get back in and support that animal up with totality prescription as fast as you possibly can. You know, taking that case as a whole, looking at the miasm miasmatic soil that's underneath, where it came from in the first place and always including the fact that the tumour was there. You know, cutting it out is just cutting out the visual expression, that's it. But it's, you know, it's not the end of the world. I'm, don't, I'm not somebody that believes, and I know there are plenty out there that do, that if you take the tumour away, you've created this dreadful monstrosity and you should be, you know, hang your head in shame. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have a living patient and just keep in mind what I've, what I've done and give that animal life. Mm -hmm. But you have to go in and the lovely thing about being a surgeon and in the homeopathic clinic is that we treat them during the surgery, we treat them afterwards immediately. There was a wonderful other seminar that was done here with um, Alok Parikh and who talked about Staphysagria for example yeah. for metastases yeah. or prevention of metastases post-surgically. Yeah. You know, I picked that up from him and I'm forever grateful because I've been doing using that where I've had tumours where they really did look like it's going to spread very fast once I start cutting mm -hmm. and the outcomes are different, this makes difference. So there's things again we can do to try to allay the... To yeah, look at the, the, the really right remedy. Yeah, the look at the type of the tumour, if it's syphilitic and you cut it, it's likely to get very angry with you. So these are the ones where the, the, the things like the Staphysagria will definitely go in during the surgery so that from the minute I cut that tumour and start to make it cross, I'm already countering it with a dynamic. So before you even close it, you give yeah, yeah. the remedies in, in the wound? Not in the, in the wound, but in the dog, yeah. spray on the yeah. gun. Yeah, and my nurses are very well versed in this, they know what they're doing with this. But it makes a difference because years gone by, you cut a syphilitic tumour, you expect it to spread. Mm -hmm. But now that's changing. It's like, no, I can cut some syphilitic tumours and they don't spread. So it's again, we have to push the boundaries a little bit and learn and learn and learn all the time. Remedies in cancer, you mentioned already, which <laughs> you see very often, or are you repeating in your experience? So many, um, so many, so mm -hmm. many. Bellis perennis, yeah. um, arsenic amalgam, silica, hydrastis, um, uh, conjurango is another wonderful, wonderful remedy. There are so many, and again, it's to try really, really hard not to narrow, narrow, narrow. I'm going to give this for this because it's dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. I'm with you. I yeah. agree. Yeah. And are you helping the liver? Yes. Yeah. The liver has to deal with the toxic aftermath of cancer. And as I said in one of the talks I gave, that I learned the hard way. And unfortunately, I didn't learn as hard as the animal did. I had a lymphoma case that taught me very, very quickly that if you are dissolving tumors out, of tumors out with homeopathy, you start to dissolve the tumor. And what gets rid of that toxic waste, it's the liver. And if you don't support the liver or you dissolve the tumours out too fast, the liver gets overloaded and then you lose your patient. Yeah. So the liver is the prime organ um, to be supported throughout the whole of cancer therapy because it's got to get rid of the toxins. So yeah, there's all that layering that has to go on in serious cancer cases.